sea foam sprays from pounding waves of the Sugaru Strait. This is Oma, the northernmost point of Honshu. Surrounded by the sea on three sides, around half of Oma's population are fishermen. Look at all the ships making their way out to sea. This is a festival held every July to pray for both safety on tumultuous seas and a bountiful catch. Here is the Tenpi Sama procession, held on the same day. Tenpi Sama is a Chinese deity born on Meijou Island in the Fujian province. The distinctly exotic and un-Japanese atmosphere is worth seeing. One word is synonymous with Oma. Magro, meaning tuna. The bluefin tuna caught here are the largest in the world often exceeding 400 kilograms. Fishermen here pull in these enormous fish with a single fishing hook. This traditional fishing method is simply amazing. They've got one. They've caught a prize tuna. You can savor their hard-earned tuna at restaurants throughout the town. Sushi platters of only tuna, only in Oma. How luxurious. There are events in Oma where you can eat your fill of tuna. The Super Tuna Festival is one of them. Cutting shows and auctions, selling on the spot, and more. This tuna-tastic event attracts thousands of people each October. The biggest event of the summer has to be August's Oma Blue Marine Festival. The main attraction is the tasting of finest tuna in the world. That's right, you can taste Oma's tuna for free <laughs> there are a number of other events like tuna cutting shows, concerts, boat races, and more. To finish off the day's festivities, fireworks light up the night. There's no better place to enjoy Japan's northern summer. Festivals aside, Oma has plenty to offer those who simply want to get away and relax. Cape Subana juts out on the border between Oma and Sai Village. Both the Ezokanzo and Tsukashiuri, both indigenous species of lily, grow here. The sea breeze makes this one of the most refreshing spots in Oma. Here is Bentenjima a small island which floats just offshore Cape Oma. It is known as a haven for wild birds, but the island bustles with excitement during the Bentenjima festival held each April. This festival invokes blessings for maritime safety and a bountiful catch. Here are some of the most beautiful scenes. Oma's stunning sunrises and sunsets. The contrastive duet between the Pacific sunrise and the sunset into the Sea of Japan can only be seen in October and February. Only in northern Honshu is this luxury a possibility. Isaribi, fishing lights used at night to attract squid faintly illuminate and transfigure the dark ocean into a dreamy seascape. 
To enjoy all Oma has to offer, spend a day at the Oma Hot Springs Recreation Center. Soak in the northernmost baths of Honshu and then enjoy local tuna and other fresh seafood over a steaming bed of rice. You can stay the night or simply stop by for a bite to eat. Oma faces the Sugaru Strait, known for its fast currents. High quality kombu, or kelp products, cultivated in these waters are some of Oma's signature goods. You can actually taste the difference in richness in Oma's kombu. Oma has many more signature products. The plump sea urchins caught every spring are delectable. Looks great. Here are bekomochi, sweet rice cakes, defined by their decorative art. They are an excellent example of the traditional art handed down through generations here in Oma. Rated highly across the country, Oma's beef is only second to its tuna. During the Spring Cherry Blossom Festival, you can enjoy a barbecue of Oma beef under the last cherry blossoms of Honshu. Oma is also Honshu's northern front door. The distance between Oma and Hokkaido's southern seaport of Hakodate is a mere 17.5 kilometers. At night, you can view Hakodate's beautiful nightscape on the horizon of the Sugaru Strait. Hakodate, a gateway to Hokkaido, is a port city like Oma. Its night view from Hakodate Mountain, Goryokaku, and the red brick warehouse waterfront attract visitors from across the world. A ferry runs regularly between Hakodate and Oma. Work or play, take advantage of this ferry as the shortest route between Honshu and Hokkaido. And you can delight in the beauty of the four seasons throughout the Shimokita Peninsula, where Oma is located. Oma holds a special place. Its soothing scenery, the abundance of fresh seafood, the vibrancy and the warmth of the town, and its people. Let your heart be pulled in like the tide and experience the enchantment of Oma. <laughs>